Hi, I'm Laura Yanda, and I'm here to tell you about this smart tool, the Strategic Mastery of Russian Tool. This is a project that is a jointly um, undertaken by the Higher School of Economics in Moscow and UIT, the Arctic University of Norway, and funded by a Norwegian or, uh, agency. And you see here also some of the people who are stand behind the smart tool. Uh, the SMART tool is a research-based tool. Uh, it's based on the idea uh, that Russian has a rich inflectional morphology, which means that the words have many forms and that even a very simple vocabulary has over 100,000 potential word forms, but most of these forms are rarely, if ever, used. We've undertaken a machine learning experiment that indicates that focus on the most frequent word forms is the best path to full mastery of the system. And uh, current language technology resources make it possible to identify the most frequent word forms and the grammatical constructions and collocations that they are associated with. The SMART tool presents uh, all of this information for over 3,000 word forms at the A1 through B2 levels. You can find the SMART tool here. It is a completely free resource and you do not need any password or login. The first thing you need to do with the SMART tool is to choose a level. I'm going to choose level B1, and then you can search by topic, analysis, or dictionary. Let's start by topic. Here I'm going to choose the topic of food, um, and here you see the first item that comes up under B1 for food. Um, notice uh, several things about this uh, about this page. Uh, for, first, for the, those three forms of this verb, uh, each of them is parsed with, and, and this is given with um, abbreviations. If you don't know what those abbreviations stand for, you can even either mouse over that little question mark, or you can go to this list of abbreviations and find that. Um, notice that for the user's convenience, it is also possible to listen to a voice synthesized version of each sentence in Russian, choosing from male or female voice. But please note that this is an add-on. Uh, this is not a part of our resource, resource per, per se. This is an add-on to an external resource. This is just for uh, the, the convenience. But you access those by um, pressing on these uh, green, um, on these green speaker buttons. Notice that you can also get a translation into English for every uh, example sentence. The example sentences show the typical uses of these word forms. So this is what that looks like when you uh, ask for the translation. Uh, and uh, notice also these uh, big green arrows. These arrow buttons allow you to toggle back and forth through the list of uh, words that are in that group. So in here, it's the topic uh, of food for B1. It'll toggle through all of those words. I can toggle to the next word and you see that I get this word at each step, uh, recipe. Okay, so we can also search by analysis. I personally, as a language teacher, think this is the most exciting part. Um, you can look at a, a long list, this is only the top of it, of all of the possible um, combinations of grammatical uh, categories. And you can select from those and find words that really are used in those. For example, if I take an imperfective gerund, if I happen to be teaching that, I can find a group of uh, verbs and typical expressions that are really common uh, for the use of the imperfective gerund. Or, you know, for example, if I was uh, teaching the dative case, I might want to teach uh, a long list. And, and these lists, in both cases, I'm showing you just the top of it, you can scroll down and get many, many examples for each of these. The third alternative is to search by dictionary. Uh, here you can alternatively either scroll through the long list or you can uh, actually just type in in Russian and it'll go directly to uh, whatever word you were, uh, you were interested in. And lastly, if you wanna learn more about this, uh, this resource, you can go to the um, about page and learn more about it there. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope that you will enjoy learning, the, using the SMART tool and learning Russian through it. And please also be, feel free to contact us if you have any suggestions or if you happen to notice anything that needs to be improved.